Hey YouTube, it's Adam here. Um, so today I actually got these interesting glasses. I've been wearing glasses for quite a while, but I've needed some new ones. And um, went to the eye doctor last week. Um, used a really cool service called ZocDoc to help me find an eye doctor near me and got an appointment same day. So yeah, I needed to get new glasses. One of the coolest features about these new glasses, um, I got this thing called uh, Critisol. Mm. It's anti-glare, it's supposed to be scratch resistant, smudge resistant, and uh, anti-static. Also the best thing about the smudge free part, sometimes I always seem to touch it here and there, and now I get like smudge. So then when I grab one of these to clean it, um, this smudge comes right off. Hmm. Perfect. It's smudge free. Um, problem with the other ones is it would kind of smudge all over the place and you'd get that kind of, it's like this milky, oily, um, it, it, it just, it just looks really bad um, right through it. It means I gotta go out and like go to the sink, get some soap and water, or wash it and like scrub it down and everything. Now with these I get that, um, you just wipe it down with a dry cloth and it actually works pretty well and doesn't seem, hopefully it doesn't scratch. Usually it's supposed to wet the, wet the glasses up and uh, it's supposed to, yeah it's supposed to wet them and then wipe them down so it, you don't scratch them easily. So these are what I look at them. Of course you could um, yeah you could see the reflection from everywhere. I think yeah these are my new ones kind of trendy I guess. These are my old ones they kind of just like blend right in. My God it's like. I have a couple scratches here and there, and the problem with having scratches here and there, if you get like a little bit on the line of vision, you, you kind of get something's always there, you just can't seem to get rid of it. Another news, I like to take the express bus on the way to work. Um, you, I live in New York City, so we have the subway, but I, I live like an hour away. I personally don't like taking the subway to work. Um, mostly because you have to deal with a lot of strange people and it's just really uncomfortable um, traveling an hour on hard seats and everything like that. The express bus is more like one of those coach buses where it's luxurious, you get to sit down, comfy. It's a little more pricier but um, the best thing about it is it's always above ground. Uh, when I take the subway, it's, you know, once you go underground you get a signal so I can't really go online and I tend to like to listen to Spotify a lot and I need signal for that. Just, you know, Spotify or Pandora. I also once in a while like to watch Netflix movies on the bus. So kinda need to be above ground for that. You would think paying for that much for an express bus, um, you would get quite decent service. Apparently the service kinda sucks sometimes. I guess there's not much you can do about it. Sometimes you get traffic um, that you can't predict. Like two weeks ago, Obama decided to show up, and then whenever he shows up in New York City, everything gets shut down, which is kind of annoying. So I'm like on my way home, and next thing you know, the uh, freaking highway is closed down because oh, Obama's got to go uh, take a special route down to his helicopter. So it's like half an hour wait. So the bus was supposed to show up at 6:30 p.m. Um, I stood there around 6:25 bus didn't show up to like 6, 7, 10, so times like that kind of really pisses me off when you know, you're know you expecting the bus, you're paying, five, paying double the amount for the MTA and you're expecting you know the bus to show up. I mean it's alright if like you miss one bus. Um, sometimes two buses are okay but you know these buses come like once every like 10-20 minutes depending on the time of day. Um, at this time you know apparently it's just one bus came once every, yeah, I don't know, usually it comes up, it comes on time, uh, it was one of those rare times and it's really frustrating. Uh, well, that's it for now, bye bye.